go ahead and get a good look at this 2021 Ram Power Wagon 75th anniversary edition. Taking a look, you'll see they've upgraded the interior for the 75th edition in the Power Wagon. Mine's pretty much like all the ones I've seen. Later on, I'll go ahead and fire it up and show you all some of the features of the 12 inch infotainment system. Uh, also show you all the rear view cameras as well as the camera rear view mirror. Also went ahead and installed the WeatherTech front floor mats. Shout out to WeatherTech, they fit great. Go ahead and take a seat, step in the back seat. Pretty much the same thing going on here as my 1500 Limited. Um, the leather, the stitching, the appointments are, you know, almost at that Limited level. Not quite. There's still some things to be desired that the 1500 Limited gives you that the Power Wagon and any trim level that you get won't. All right, this is also pretty similar to the 1500. I did not get the moonroof and the power wagon and all the 2500 trucks that Ram makes. You can't get the panoramic yet uh, like you can in the 1500. So there's another thing to consider depending on what's important to you. This is also something that was a little bit of a bummer with the under seat storage on the power wagon. Not that the sound system isn't good, but it's not as good as the 1500 Limited. It's missing two speakers, and that really comes into play when you're kind of getting into the vocals. You can hear, you know, not as crispy, not as clear sounding, but still overall a great stereo system. Really have enjoyed this truck. A lot harder for the in-laws to get in and out of. Sometimes you feel bad. For that regard, if you're hauling your in-laws around a lot, maybe that's important to you. I'm not, so not a big deal to me. You also have your rock sliders that are exclusive for the Power Wagon 75th edition. I'm sure you can get these installed on any trim level aftermarket. Also have your keyless entry unlock and lock. Uh, being that it came from a 1500, you know, Ram trucks are not uh, new to me and nothing really in this truck has, you know, stood out as something that's a huge improvement or something that they've brought on board um, that I wasn't already used to. So if you have any questions, you know, I've got you know, almost four years under my belt driving these new generation trucks. Also went ahead and got the upgraded uh, exhaust sounds great. Uh, I'll have a link in the description there. Uh, also got the Mopar inside the bed. So you got the tie downs, 115 volt. Uh, these are, you have your sensors in the back as well as the radar, whatever sensing uh, rear tail lights. And then in the 75th anniversary edition, you get the capable rim lock wheels with the 32 three ish inch tires. And then you also get some special badging, of course, with the 75th edition power wagon. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, you know, the power wagon has been around a long time. I forget exactly how long, but it's been you know, serving in the military. You do the math for 75 years, things like 1946 or something like that. Um, so, um, this is kind of their, you know, big special edition offering that they're, uh, having with this particular truck. Uh, the other cool feature in this truck, especially on the inside, uh, is I'll show you another badging here. And then obviously you have your plaque there. This is build number 62. Um, you have your electronic you know, gearbox here, your gear shifter. 
Um, so the traditional power wagon is you know, on the floor, but what they've done here is they've basically added the center console like that's in the uh, limited or other 1500 Rams and put it in here, uh, getting rid of the on the floor and giving you a little bit more convenience. You know, I know the, the dial knob is something that gets hated on, but you know, once you really drive these trucks and start appreciating the other things, that dial knob you just kind of get used to. Um, Again, I'll fire it up for you guys here in a little bit. Show you all some more stuff. It does have the 6.4 liter Hemi V8. Uh, the upgraded LED headlights. You'll see these in some of the big 2500 you know, Cummings. Big steel bumper with the tow hooks. And then obviously some of y'all caught me on my first video. I didn't have my winch pulled out of that little housing. Uh, all I had to do was you remove these two bolts here, opened it up, pulled out the winch, and you know that operates really nicely. You plug it in here, truck comes with the controller, and that cord is nice because it's long enough to be able to operate it also while you're driving. And then you've got your forward facing camera, obviously, that comes in handy as well. You do have the grill with the up and down vertical lines looks pretty good definitely makes a difference in the appearance uh, when parked next to a regular or standard power wagon uh, you also get the matted out black or excuse me gray gunmetal gray type color uh, ram badge you do have your fog lights um and that's really it again the only thing i've done is the magnaflow system here in the back uh, it does sound really good uh, one thing that I didn't get on this truck were the Ram boxes. It takes up a lot of space. As you can see, I've got tons of uh, bed space now or without them. It doesn't take up anything. But the one thing that I wish this truck had that that cargo or the Ram boxes gives you is the fold-down step right here. So my truck doesn't have that. That would be a convenient feature to be able to step right here and then into the bed. You do have the, you know, lowering assisted tailgate, one touch. I mentioned the lights back here. They do have a switch on and off, and that does control the cargo bed light uh, that has come in handy. And then, like I said, you've got your 115 there. Comes in handy. Tie downs, bed liner, all that good stuff. So... That's pretty much the truck as it sits on the outside and taking a look at the inside without opening up the features. Uh, on the next video, I'll go ahead and put together a more in-depth look at all the features on the inside. I'm sure there's a lot of y'all looking at this infotainment center. Um, these are nice. These also fold out. Uh, power adjust here as well as power adjust here in either position. So that's really good. You do have your surround cameras which is also really good. Uh, and they do power fold in uh, for any tight spots of parking. Got your indicator lights. Um, and then let's see, anything else that we can show you guys? There's little details, you know, that they're doing. Anyways, it's a pretty killer truck. I uh, don't need a big Cummings, you know, diesel. So I opted for this bad boy uh, for the additional off-road capabilities, styling, uh, road presence. Uh, the drive is actually quite nice. I can't compare it to a 1500 Limited because you know that had the air suspension and that thing rode like a Cadillac. But I took that thing off-road once and had a little bit of articulation and I had to take the truck in to get it you know, readjusted, it had popped out a sensor or something stupid, but uh, definitely not made for off-roading, even though it's got the four-wheel drive, you know, with the 22-inch wheels and low-profile tires. Um, it wasn't the best truck. This obviously, you know, gives you a lot more capability. Um, you sacrifice a little bit on the ride quality, but for a pickup truck this size, all the creature comforts inside, the lighting, the seats, 
you know, I'll take this over the 1500 any day now that I've had a thousand miles on it. Um, and if you really, really want to, there's options out there to smooth out the little chatter bumps as you're, you know, if you're making this your daily driver, so. All right, now that we're inside the Ram Power Wagon 2500 75th edition, I'm gonna go ahead and take y'all through some of the interior features. Uh, obviously you have a center digital display on the dash next to your analog, RPM, and speed gauges. You also have your oil temp and your gasoline gauges there. Uh, pretty simple operation, you know, even got it numbered for you. Number one, you got your speedometer, vehicle information, and you'll see a little bit lower how you have different pages within the vehicle information to go through all your stats. Keep a good eye on all your systems if you need to. Tire pressure monitor, all that good stuff. Uh, Off-road pages are on this truck. I'll show you all a little bit more of that when we get into the 12-inch display. Uh, but you do see here, kind of gives you um, the status of your front and rear locker as well as your sway bar. Uh, so you always know where you're at and then you even have your, uh, your pitch and roll uh, that it displays for you here uh, on the next page. So really neat feature that they added to the 2021 Power Wagon. Uh, you'll see the same thing in the, the TRX. So that's kind of cool they brought this over here. Uh, my truck did come with all the uh, driver assist functionality, lane keep assist, forward collision. Um, so that's been nice to work with. Uh, had that in my other truck, so nothing really new there. I will say the 1500 behaves a little bit better whenever it's correcting itself. Obviously it's a smaller, lighter truck, so a lower center of gravity. This one's a little bit bigger, so when the truck does correct itself, it's a little sloppier, I guess, for lack of a better word. Uh, you got your MPG here, um, your trip information, obviously you can have multiple trips, uh, then your trailer tow information, um, your engine braking, or excuse me, your trailer braking, not engine braking, and then uh, you can do a trailer light check as well uh, from the driver's display here. Then you also have your audio controls that you can have display right in front of you. Uh, depending on how you've got everything else configured when your phone's hooked up and you've got everything set up You can also see if you have messages and then just some of the basic screen settings You can change you know what's in this corner here 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 and here um, I guess we can get into that real quick Your upper left corner display you can change upper right lower left and then obviously you have you know, options within each uh, and then back to the speedometer and that pretty much wraps up the front display uh, on the controls or excuse me on the steering wheel you do have a few controls you've got your phone here your voice recognition I uh, don't use that very much and then this is how you're changing all your page information your cruise control your distance or your uh, your your uh, distance control um, cruise settings and your gear limiting uh, here, which is, you know, comes in handy, obviously, when you're trying to get off the line or you want to keep a low gear. Uh, all your lighting over here, pretty standard from the 1500, and then you also have your pedal raising and lowering functions there. Pretty standard here. This is a nice feature that I mentioned. Uh, you are able to now adjust the outer window, which was not available in previous models, so that's something new they added. Now, moving our way over to the display, excuse the dust. We'll start down here just with the toggle switches. You've got your trailer braking here, your uh, hill assist, or your hill descent assist, and then your traction control off, tow haul mode, your front and rear uh, sensors that you can turn off. Um, there is a home button here that you know, when you have it on your home setting, you can kind of configure that to show up 
how you want it to each time. You know, I've got my navigation and uh, my audio stations, but you can literally customize the top and the bottom. Choose media here, choose your AC controls down here, or if you want your navigation here and your phone down here. It's pretty neat as far as the customizability. And then you can also get into each individual um, mode. Here you've got your media mode. I love how many channel options it gives you as far as your presets. And then it's super easy to get all those set up. Uh, your sources, you can obviously have your XM radio, anything plugged in that you've got. And then just some other neat features in this particular you know section you've got your audio controls here you know, everything's extremely functional you got your equalizer you know all that good stuff and then we'll get into the controls here this is where you're gonna adjust your heated seats your cooling seats in the front and then your heated steering wheel passenger stuff and then you also have your mirror dimmer your backup camera cargo camera surround camera and forward camera all good stuff there and that's kind of playing in front of you know the anything that you put up so that's kind of neat there and then your climate control that's a full screen here super easy to set things and dial things in exactly how you want them you have your apps pages i'll give you all a quick look at all those travel link is pretty sweet for this truck gives you sports information i had it set up on my other truck um, as far as like my favorites i haven't done that yet here but you, know, you can have your favorite sports team, uh, weather updates, anything you want, you can have pop up, get your movie listings, um, check, check local theaters, see what they're playing, see their movie time. So a lot of really neat features come you know, built into this truck. You got your weather map. Uh, obviously we've been having some crazy weather here uh, in San Antonio, but again, really nice feature. Uh, we'll go back to the apps page, your a lot of redundancy in this area because you've got several different ways to get to stuff. You do have Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, you can pair your phones, your forward-facing camera. Obviously, it's super nice. It has the the tire guidance. I'll show you where your tires are gonna land. Um, your cargo camera. That's really nice when you're checking on your dirt bikes. You got your surround for parking. Your backup camera um, and. Uh, Let's see there you go you got your trailer your, your trailer view you can kind of see around you this one's pretty cool and then last get into the navigation navigation super nice you know I've gotten really used to this you know where to plug in your address uh, and you're good to go it's really simple phone pretty self-explanatory don't have my phone hooked up right now I got my Bluetooth turned off uh, and then again, you've got your backup cameras. Uh, and then once you get used to this, you'll probably find a nice little, you know, area or nice setting that you enjoy. Uh, other than that, you got some nice charging ports down there, a little bit of storage, storage down in here, um, storage in here. And then you guys probably have seen, you know, Dodge gives you some, you know, win in a pinch. And let's say you don't have your cell phone to look this kind of stuff up. You know, they're nice and they give you you know, all the hard math equations that none of us know. Um, you do have your SOS and your assist, your lighting, the rear open and close window. And then that's pretty much it. It's a great truck. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, I did want to mention this. This is the first time I've ever had this. The only downside of this mirror, I really do like it. I like the, the visualness of it. It looks really nice. It gives you a really crystal clear picture of what's going on behind you. Um, but whenever you want to check yourself in the mirror real quick, typically I've, I've, I've learned uh, most people use this mirror to, to give them a quick little look up the nose or you got something in your eye. You, know, you can't do that with this unless it's in the mirror mode. So, um, But it's nice that you have both options. So I really like that feature. Uh, all leather, you know, on the dash here, good material, got this plasticky carbon fiber looking stuff, and then this gunmetal looking stuff over here, which is different from my 1500 Limited. Some of this stuff was on the Limited, but not here. 
Uh, and then it's just, again, an overall pretty sweet truck. Um, you have some unique display settings that you can get to that uh, were not on my 1500. As you see here, this theme, so you can you know, turn it to red theme, orange theme, there's another theme, there's another red theme. So it kind of changes the font a little bit. It changes you know, some of the graphics as you'll see there. Um, so it makes it a little fun. It makes it kind of cool. Give you a little bit closer look as you can see some of the intricate details that they're trying to accomplish here. Pretty cool. Can't knock them for you know that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, looking forward to hearing any comments. Know the car's dusty, but it's a power wagon. Don't worry about it. All right, and then to wrap up the video, some of y'all have been curious. I'm just going to unlock at night. That's what you get. The lights come on, you get your under the... rear view mirror lighting there bed lighting comes on plenty of light back there and then go ahead and lock it back up and we'll do Thanks for watching. Be safe out there.